your father's posthumous birthday. So sad we never got to meet him. I'm sure it would have been a great dad. He would have been an awesome dad. He would have showered you both with so much love and affection. And now he's left me. I am all alone. You don't have to worry, Mom. You have us. I know. That I love you both. Love you too, Mom. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, but I'll be strong. I'll keep going on. Through the storm, I will survive. Hi, baby. Hi, Dem. The MD is asking for the document I sent to you. Oh. Mm -hmm. He I said see. it's for the new estate project. Okay, that's fine. I'll send it to him. Thank All you. Right. Um, I saw your late husband's picture on your WhatsApp status. Yesterday was his birthday, right? Yes, it was. I know it must have brought back a lot of sad memories. Yes, it did. It hasn't been easy at all. I know. Raising up those kids alone. I must commend you. Thank you. I just wish I could find, you know, a man to share this burden with. But the truth is, once they find out that I have two children, they avoid me like a plague. <laughs> I understand. You know, it's difficult for a single mother of one and <laughs> to have a man talk more of two. You're right. I mean, which man wants to go into that with his eyes wide open? <laughs> Don't worry. That man will come. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm here to see that man that wouldn't mind. The man that would love me unconditionally. <laughs> Even with the fact that I have children. <laughs> Don't worry. That man will come. Anyways, for me, I, I think if a man loves you, he wouldn't mind. Amen. Oh, amen. Amen. By God's <laughs> grace. <laughs> yes, so I'll send the document to the MD and I'll copy you on it so we can work. All right. And be good, okay? I will. <laughs> bye bye. Good evening, sir. Yeah, evening. How are you, Beverly? Fine, thank you, sir. Oh, good. Um, you're done for the day, right? Yes, sir. Well, okay. Uh, did you see the document I sent your email? Yes, I, I sent the report already back to your email. Oh, oh, really? Um, I will check them tomorrow. I'm so tired. Uh, we are just coming back from the uh, site, from the plot uh, estate. So uh, he's he wants to... He wants to get some plots? Yes, yes, of course. Oh, of course. fantastic. Congratulations in advance. That is... Uh, Hot cake, and yes. believe me, it's a it's a place that you should get. Yeah, thank you. I think I'll take your advice. In fact, I'll buy three plots instead of two. Oh, that that'll be fantastic! I promise you, you won't regret it. Thank, thank, you, thank you. Thank you. I'll All send right, you the paperwork. Thank you. I'll take my leave now. All right, I'll sir. Go. Thank All you. Right, Ma'am, who is that lady? Which lady? The lady I was talking to, of course. Oh, you mean Beverly? Oh, she's our human resource manager. Man, she's very beautiful. <laughs> you can say that again. Please, can I have her number? Oh, uh, I can't. It's against our company's oh, policy to give our staff's number to our clients. Can't you I break can't. company policy? Oh, Mr. Raymond, Mr. Raymond. Okay, why don't you come to the office tomorrow and talk to her yourself? Okay, fine. 
All right. You see me in your office first thing no tomorrow problem. morning. No problem. No Thank problem. you, guys. Thank You're you welcome. so You're much. Welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Tonya! Tonya, get the door! We're fine. Okay, today? School was fine. Great. What's that? Um, well, we don't know. We didn't check. Is everything all right, Mom? Um, yeah. It's just that they're asking for the um, the balance of our rent, and I don't have that money right now. I um. Mm. Bills keep piling up. God will provide for us, Mom. Amen. Amen. It's okay. So, are the girls eating? Yes. yes. Are you sure? Beverly, you haven't sent me the file for Chief Badmod Steel. Beverly? Beverly? Yeah? Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. I'm just uh, thinking of how to get the balance of my rent. You know, as, as a single mom, you have to be both a mom and dad. I know it's hard. I know. But you're a strong woman. God will provide, okay? Amen. <laughs> Hello. Good afternoon. Hello, beautiful ladies. Good afternoon. No, sir. sit, sit, sit. Oh, okay. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. So are you here to see the MD? No, I'm here to see you. I hope there's no problem. Not at all. I just want us to talk. Oh, in that case, please have a seat. Not here. Can we hang out somewhere cool after work? Um, I don't think that will be possible. I have a report I need to hand in to my boss, and I have to do it before the close of day today. I don't know when I'll finish. Okay. In that case... Um... Good afternoon, Mr. Badmos. Hello, Mr. Raymond. Yes, please. Um, I need to take Beverly out after work, but she says she has a report to submit to you. Please, can she submit it tomorrow? Oh, okay. No problem. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Now you have my excuse. Okay, no problem. So I'll come pick you up after work, okay? Okay. Thank you, guys. All right. Bye-bye. You're welcome. <laughs> it's like someone is going on a date. It's not a date. We're just hanging out. Mm, that's how it all starts. Okay? Please, just be fast and come and give me my own gist. Apoko, it's only gist, you know. I accept. Do I come and give me gist? Go on. Send the PDF <laughs> out to you. All right. And please, stop thinking, okay? Don't forget to send the file. Mm -hmm. What do you want to know about me? Everything. Okay, my name is Beverly. I'm the Human Resource Manager at uh, MBA Real Estate Company. I'm single, not in a relationship. 
I'm an average Nigerian hardworking woman. I like hardworking women. Yeah. But I don't have a choice. I have to be hardworking. I've got responsibilities. What responsibilities do you have? Isn't it just taking care of your needs? It's not like you have children you're catering for or do you? Well, enough of me. Let's talk about you. You said you moved back from Canada. Yeah. So how is it like living here or living abroad rather? Very nice, although it's very cold, but I'm used to the cold. So which do you prefer, the cold in Canada or the heat in Nigeria? <laughs> Definitely the cold in Canada. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, it, the system is something else, fantastic, amazing. Do you know what a date is? <laughs> I'm 15, not five. The rate at which you girls have grown is alarming. Anyway, if you must know, it wasn't a date. Mm -hmm. We just hung out. You just hung out. You are smiling like this. Tonya, how am I smiling? <laughs> it's obvious mommy went on your days. We're happy for you, Sha. Yep. <laughs> 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 so Beverly, gist me, how was the outing? How was which outing? You two like gist, you haven't even said good morning. Forget about the greetings, Joe. Tell me, how was it now? How was the date? What date? It wasn't a date, we just hung out. Huh. An outing between two adults outside your house is called a date. Even if you guys went to eat um, akara and bread, <laughs> it's still a date. Now you sabi. <laughs> so just me now, I mean, did you guys kiss, you know? Kiss? Hell no. We just talked about ourselves, that's all. You told him about the girls? No. <laughs> I mean, he didn't say he wanted a relationship, so why should I give him my life history? Like, you don't know what he wants? No, I don't. He hasn't come out to say anything. And until I get to that bridge, I'll figure out how to cross it. Okay, ma. <laughs> Anyways, I picked up a parcel for you from the reception. A package? Mm -hmm. From whom? Mr. Raymond, of course. So have you received my little gift? Little? <laughs> yes, I have. It's lovely. I'm glad you like it. I love it. <laughs> Where are you? Um, I'm going to meet up with someone. Can we hang out after you close from work? At the restaurant? Yes, yes. Okay, sure. I'll meet you there. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> Another date, right? Seems so. <laughs> I just hope he doesn't disappoint like the rest. I hope so. It's fine. Everything will be fine, okay? You hear this so beautiful. Huh? Why are you looking at me like that? You're very beautiful. Thank you. Do you not bad yourself? <laughs> at least I'm glad I don't look like a beast <laughs> next to a beauty like you. Sir, excuse me. What's the problem? You don't look happy. Um, 
or it's it's a bill I need to clear. How much? Oh no 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 Raymond. I'll sort it out when I get my salary. Please let me help you, Beverly. I love you, Beverly. Please let me be useful to you. I insist. Okay, it's a million naira. Yeah, please impute your account number here. One million fifty thousand. Yes, one million for the bills and fifty thousand for the bank charges. Thank you. Thank you so much. You don't even know the burden you just lifted off my shoulders. I love you, Beverly. This is just the beginning. My heart, but my heart is drenched in tears. Life is like a game. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But I'll be strong. I'll keep going on through the storm. I will survive. I'll be strong. Welcome, mom. girls. Welcome, mom. How are you? Bye-bye. How's your day? Bye. Bye. <laughs> I would have asked you why you came back home late, but judging from the smile on your face, the reason is very obvious. Uh, what reason is obvious? It's obvious you went out without your friend. <laughs> <laughs> you girls are not even serious. But yes, I did go out with my friend. Oh, uh -huh. Wait, did you tell him about us? When is he going to meet us? <laughs> when are we going to meet oh, him? Hey, hey, slow down, slow down. It's not time yet. When it's time, you'll get to meet him, okay? Okay. Okay. But is he nice? Yeah. yeah. He's a nice guy. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay, bye. So you mean he gave you one million naira just like that? Mm. Yes, so. Wow. He must really like you. Yeah, and I like him too. <laughs> So, have you told him about the girls? No, I haven't. Good. You won't tell him until the relationship gets stronger. Absolutely. Hey babe, how are you doing? I'm well. And you? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm even going to inspect the construction going on on the land I bought from your company. Oh, that's nice. So, are we hanging out today? Ah, uh, no, I'm sorry. I'm meeting up with a client um, today. How about tomorrow? Are you available? Uh, tomorrow is a weekend and I have laundry to do. Yeah, we can hang out at your place. We can even do the laundry together. <laughs> no, 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 please don't worry about that. Ah, let me worry you. Is it your worry? I, I even need to know where you stay. <laughs> don't worry about where I stay. Uh, let's go to your place first. Another time we can go to mine. Why are you sounding like you don't want me to know where you live? Even if you live in a hole, I still love you regardless. I know, it's just that my place is really unkempt. And I haven't had time to fix it. We'll clean it together. Okay, I'll send the address to you. Good. I'll see you tomorrow then. Okay, bye. I mean that. I'm in trouble. What's wrong? He wants to come to my place. I know it's a weekend. The girls are home. Is that why you're restless? Yes. Didn't you say I shouldn't let him know about the girls yet? Don't worry, I can handle it. I'll take the girls out tomorrow and bring them back when he's gone. 
Thank you so much, Amina Cherry Lifesaver. <sighs> You're welcome. Have you submitted the files to Mr. Badnos? Not yet. I just came to gossip. <laughs> you, you want to be fired. I can see. your friend again. Ah, is it government work? I need to rest. No, it's tomorrow is weekend. We'll have time to rest. Talking about tomorrow, I've asked Auntie Amina to come and take you girls out. Oh, yay! Yes. Good. It's been long we went out. Which is why I've asked her not to bring you back until 8 p.m. Oh, that's nice. I can't <laughs> Great. wait. Um, have you girls eaten? Yeah. You've had dinner? Mm -hmm. Great. Okay, so I'm going upstairs to rest. Okay. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Very well then. Let's go. Oh yeah, yeah. Bye. Bye Enjoy yourself. Right. Bye. Bye. Hey, darling. How are you, my love? Very well, thank you. Are you coming soon? I'm already close by. You'll soon see me. Oh, really? Let me go make that food then. What are you cooking? It's a surprise. I have a feeling today will be full of surprises. Sure, it will be. <laughs> okay, then. All right, see you soon. I'll see you soon. I love you. Love you too. <sighs> mm. The food is incredible. Thank you. You're an amazing cook. Thank you so much. So wait until you taste my sweet jollof. You just ticked another box on my checklist. What checklist? Well, I have a checklist of um, things I look out for in my woman and you just passed the cooking test. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. um, so what's the reward if one was to tick every single thing on your checklist? A wedding ring. Oh, wow. <laughs> What else is left on this checklist? Let's not find out. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need to take this call. Please excuse me. It's from my colleague. Not a Hello? Amina, what's up? Sonia isn't fine. What's wrong with Sonia? I don't know. She has been purging since. Why is she purging? Um, I think it's the pizza she ate. I've given her some drugs, but it still hasn't stopped. So I, I want to bring her back to the house. Okay, that's fine. Bring her home. Is Raymond still there? Yes, he's still here. He's still here, yes. Um, but I'll find a way to discharge him. No, 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 it's okay. It's not your fault. Okay, you see me soon. All right, let me quickly discharge him before you get here. All right, bye. All right, bye. Um, I'm sorry for the interruption. No, it's okay. We can continue from where we stopped. Oh, well, that'll be when I come to your house tomorrow. I really have to go to the office right now. I mean, I called saying that I really need to come and attend to something really urgently. Okay then, so can I drop you off? <laughs> no. I know you're a very busy person. And I need to stop at like three different places before I get to the office. Don't worry. We'll continue from where we left off tomorrow when I come to yours. Okay, that's fine. We'll see you tomorrow then. <laughs> yeah, sure, absolutely. All right. Okay. Thank you for this. This is... This is fantastic. Thanks. Are you done? I'm fine. 
I can't, I can't. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Let me see you to the door. That's fine. Thank you. Bye. Bye. I've left my wallet at Beverly's place. Did you check your car? No, it's not there. Oh, okay. You want to search? I thought you said you were going to the office. <laughs> yes, I was just about to leave before you came. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I'll see you. Yes, yes, yeah, sure, sure. Thank you. Yes, we will see. Can you make that switch to the Absolutely, I will. Whatever you want. <laughs> I will. Okay. I, I love you too. Bye. 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 Mom, Mom. Tina just threw up. Oh, I'm hungry. I think I vomited everything I eat at home. I'm sorry, baby. So you have two children and you didn't tell me? I was going to tell you. When? I was waiting for the right time. I didn't know how you take it, and besides, everyone that I've been with, they, they run away when they hear that I have two children. I like you a lot, and I don't want to lose you. Look, I like you a lot too, but I can't date, let alone get married to a woman with one child, not to mention two. I, I don't have a child of my own. And now you want me to start a family with a woman that already has two? No, I, I will take care of them the way I've been doing for years. I'm sorry, I can't be in a relationship with an after two. Starve yourself because of him. She's right. You don't need him. We're okay the way we are. We've been surviving all this while without a father figure, and we'll continue to survive without one. Thank you, my angels. It's like a fairy tale. Beverly, are you okay? I'm heartbroken, but I'll be fine. Beverly, I'm so sorry about the way you and Raymond ended up. But at least you did not lose completely, you know. 
he assisted you with your house rent. You're right. It's true. Don't worry, okay? A better man that will love you and your daughters will come. I am done with men and relationships. All I want to do right now is concentrate on work and take good care of my daughters. I understand. It's okay. Anyways, I came to tell you that we'll be accompanying some prospective clients to our new estate tomorrow. Okay, no problem. All right, so you stop thinking and get to work. All right? I mean that. <laughs> Thanks for being a good friend. You're welcome. Sonia, I really needed that. Thanks for the food massage. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> How did you learn to do that? Uh, I think I saw it online. Uh -huh. I knew it was online. <laughs> Always online. Why is this one smiling? <laughs> How are you, darling? I'm fine. Why are you smiling? Mom? Yes? We got you this. What is it? Open it. It's a bracelet. Mm -hmm. It's lovely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We bought it to show our appreciation for all the things you've done for us. Mm -hmm. Yes. And to tell you that we love you so much. And you don't need a man. Of course I don't need a man. And I love you girls so much too. <laughs> We're sorry it's not expensive. It's what our savings could afford. I tell you what. Come. Okay. You see this? Mm -hmm. This is the most expensive bracelet and expensive item I've ever owned. And you know why? Because <laughs> my precious girls got it for me. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, love you, Mom. Love you, Mom. Love you, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Beverly, where are you? You need to hurry up now. We're about to leave. Okay, fine. I'll just look for a way and delay them. Just be fast, please. Beautiful wristwatch. Oh, thanks. It was a gift. Oh, I see. You work for this company? Yes, I'm the human resource manager. You trust you? <laughs> Let's go. Yes, it's spacious. Yes. So the fence will come here, the door fence. Okay. Are you sure we are not going to have issues with um, water? No, no, no. The foundation is really high. Um, and then the flooring too. It will be plumbed in such a way that the water will go straight out into the drainage and straight to the canal. Right. Yes. And it's very airy, very spacious as you can see. Yeah. Thank you for showing me around. It's okay, sir. I was just doing my job. You've been able to convince me that it's worth it. And I intend taking more. Not one? No, three. Oh, wow, that's fantastic. 
good business uh, idea. You can even put some tenants in the other ones. Yes, of course, of course, and make my money. Yes, sir. <laughs> Please, let me have your phone number. Uh, what for? So that I can call you when I need clarifications on certain issues. Do you have the um, office flyers? Yes, I do. Oh, great. There's some numbers there you can call oh. in case you have any questions. You know we have already developed a good rapport. Uh, sir, those are customer care representatives and they are very good. They'll be able to answer any questions you may have. Okay, no problem. I have to go now. Oh, we, we can drop you off. Oh, that's very kind of you. <laughs> All right, sir. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Darlings, Bye. how are you? Fine. <laughs> how was work? Fine. How was school? Come. School was fine. I joined the drama club. You did? Yeah. So what? You want to be an actress now? Yes. Really? Okay. And you? Have some. Oh, thank you. Hmm. I think this one. This one is sweeter. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so. Hmm. Nice. Nice. Okay. So, uh, what, did you um, read any scripts today? Good afternoon, Beverly. Oh, good afternoon, Mr. Falari. You're here to make payments, right? Yes. Oh, please sit down. Oh, thank you. Oh. It's, um, it's a transaction you're not going to regret. <laughs> I know. So how is work? Work is fine. Interesting. You're not wearing that beautiful wristwatch of yours? Oh, no, I'm not. How long have you been working in this company? I'm so sorry, sir. I really can't chat. I'm quite busy. I understand. Okay. What about chatting with you during your lunch break? I'm sorry. As you can see, I was on my system before you came in. I'm quite busy. And I don't, I don't think I'll finish before the close of work. Okay. And what about us hanging out after work? I, I honestly don't know when I'll finish this work. I mean, I'm sorry I'm disturbing, uh, even if it's just for 30 minutes. Please. Okay, no problem. Thank you. I'll pick you up then. Oh, there'll be no need for that. You just send me the address. Okay, okay. You haven't given me your number yet. Yes. Please just put the address down there. Okay. I think it will be necessary if you give me your number so that I can actually give you a call if you can look in the place. Oh, no, don't worry about me looking in the place. I'll definitely find it. I'm very, very conversant with this area. Okay. Well, I put down my number in case I get there by 4.30 so that I can book a reservation for both of us. Okay, thank you very much. No problem. You're welcome. <laughs> so I have sent it down to the um, accounting department. You just meet the accountant. Oh, that's very kind of you. Thank right. you. Thank you. There is a need in my heart when my heart is drenched in tears. Life is like a game, sometimes you win. Sometimes you lose There's a need in my heart But my heart is drenched in tears Life is like a game Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose But I'll be strong I'll keep going on Through the storm I will survive
400. So are you going to speak to him? Of course. Um, yes, we need to we need to bring this down. Good afternoon, ladies. Good afternoon, Good afternoon sir. sir. How is work? Fine. Beverly, what happened? You didn't show up as promised. I'm sorry. I forgot. You forgot? You see why I told you to give me your number? Uh, my phone is bad. That's why I didn't give you my number. Oh, I didn't know about that. I'm really sorry. It's okay. I understand. Let me allow you to settle back to work. Okay, sir. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Madam, you didn't tell me he asked you out. Well, I didn't want to go. That's why I didn't bother. Why? What do you mean, why? I beg, I beg, I beg. I, I, I don't have time for men right now. It's not even in my agenda. I just want to focus. Come, let me show you what to do. It's fine. This primer, we need, we need parts. We need a number. So you need to speak to the, the pain. Your number was stored on it as well. Why did you get me a phone? You said your phone was faulty, so I thought it wise to get you another one. But I didn't ask for it. You didn't have to ask. Well, I don't want this phone and I can't accept it. Why? Because I can't accept it. That means you will have to throw it away because I can't return it. What exactly do you want from me, Falari? But I'm sorry, I can't accept this phone. If you want me to collect it, you will have to meet me at that restaurant you stood me up the other day. Fine. What time? Five. Okay, I'll be there. Okay. I'll see you then. Bye. I thought you were going to stand me up again. Here, your phone. I'll collect it later, but we have to eat something first. I didn't come here to eat, and besides, I've got a taxi waiting for me outside. Darling, tell the cabman to go, okay? You must have had a very hectic day at work, and I know you're hungry. Okay. What are you doing? Are, are you going to leave the phone there? Will you agree to eat something? Thank you so much for the meal. I really enjoyed it. I'm glad you did. Well, now you can have your phone. Well, this is a gift. 
with no strings attached. Okay? You can decide not to call me with it. I won't be angry. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, but I'm going to leave soon. It's getting late. Okay? Yeah. Have it. For? The transport fare to and fro. Is it not enough? It's more than enough. Thank you. No. Thank you. What for? For accepting the phone. No problem. Thank you very much. You're welcome. My bill, please. Having dinner? Yeah. <clears throat> We're sorry we couldn't wait for you to get back. It's fine, I just had dinner. Okay. What did you eat? Oh, my friend bought me dinner. Friend? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is this friend male or <laughs> You've come with your questions. You girls have come with your questions. Is this friend a male or a female? Excuse me. <laughs> Hello, Falari. Yes, I'm home now. Thanks for the meal and thanks for the phone. All right then, bye-bye. Mm. So you have a new phone now? Yes, my friend got it for me. <laughs> friend? Yes. Who's this friend? Don't even go worrying your head. It's just a friend because I am not even ready for another heartbreak. Are you okay? Uh, Come. That's why you can't finish your food. How would you feel weak when you never finish your food? I'll get you some multivitamins, okay? Okay, ma'am. Sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, okay? He actually bought you an iPhone 13. Mm. My sister, he did though, because I told him that my phone was faulty. Babe, tell me the truth. Is your phone actually faulty? Of course not. I only say that to escape him. <laughs> <laughs> Sharp girl. Mm -hmm. You know, the next thing now he will say he likes you and flee when he finds out that you're a single mother with two children. That's his business. If he likes, he should flee. If he likes, he should fly. All I know is I will not stop collecting these gifts. And then whenever he asks me for the relationship, I will flee my own. Good. Mm -hmm. Before Uncle, did you ask him to buy you the gifts? Ask me. <laughs> Hello, Falari. You got my little gift, right? Yes, I have one. It's nice. Thank you. No. Thank you. What are you thanking me for? For giving me the opportunity to make you happy. You're so sweet. I'm happy to hear that. Can I, can I take you out after work today? No, no, no. I'm going to make my hair after work. Okay. So, can I tag along? You want to follow me to the salon? Of course. Do you have a problem with that? No, I don't. No, not at all. Okay, then. I'll pick you up. Okay. Okay. I'll be waiting. Bye. 
<laughs> so he wants to follow you to the salon. My sister, that's why I see him. Hey! Don't worry, they love to see the shack up. <laughs> see, don't mind him. Once I tell him that I'm after two, that's it. All this one's my initial grab. <laughs> <laughs> Let me even pack up safe. Huh? Are you done? Man, I'm done, my dear. Have you shut down? Yes. Okay. Uh, you don't want to do your hair now. I feel this courage. I feel this pain. I think I should I tell him. Tell who? What? I think I should tell. Larry about the girls. If you tell him, he will leave you. It's best I tell him now, and he leaves, then keep him in the dark, and then he finds out later and, and gets heartbroken. He's too nice to be treated that way. Are you sure about this? Okay, if you say so. I know something is wrong. Talk to me. I want to tell you something. Okay. Well, perhaps you need money. No, I don't. It's more important than that. What is the issue? You're a very nice man and shouldn't be kept in the dark. You're beginning to make me scared. Can you just let the cat out of the bag? I don't even know where to start from. I... Talk. What is it? I'm a single mother of two children. Fifteen years ago... Put it up. Invalid. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, take it to the other side. Start, we have to this, from here. this, this, this. Come on for you. No money. Do one. Three weeks pregnant when Stanley, my late husband, and I were visited by armed robbers. One of them tried to rape me, but Stanley prevented him. In the process of struggling, Stanley was shot. So that was how I lost my Stanley. I'm just glad that all the robbers got killed in a battle with the police. Nine months later, I had my daughters, and I have single-handedly raised them without assistance from anyone. Everyone who came around me fled once they found out I had children. I mean, I don't blame them. Who wants to take a burden of a woman with a child, and let alone two children? I, I perfectly understand your plight. I do. It's not easy for a single mother to raise a child, let alone two. It must have been very tasking, I know. But that is why I'm asking for an opportunity to lessen your burden. Okay? Give me a chance to make life easier for you and your daughters. Thank you. Can I meet them? Sure. I'll invite you over at the weekend. No. A weekend is too far. Can I meet them today? Okay, let's go. Thank you. She went like a villain! A street party!
I'm Uncle Fuller, I'm your mother's friend. Oh, welcome Uncle Fuller. Welcome Uncle Fuller. Thank nice you. Seats. Thank you. And which of you is Sonia? I'm Sonia. Oh. Um, this over here right here is Sonia. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now, Uncle Fuller. She thinks she's fire Of course I am. Both of you are uniquely beautiful. Okay? Yeah. So, what are you doing? I can see you're doing your assignments. Yes, yeah, you are doing our physics assignment, but it's too hard. So I don't know why our teachers give us hard questions and assignments and solve the easy ones. Let me have a look. Okay. Look. Oh. You see, physics is quite difficult, but it's easy when you know the laws and principles. Mm -hmm. I'm going to help you to do it, okay? Okay, this is yours. Yeah. You have a pen? Okay. This is from here. This is equation. Okay. Thank you. Me. Kinetic molecular theory. Were you taught this in class? Yes. Okay. So what then causes change in temperature? The molecules, when it is transferred to a higher temperature. Are you sure you were attentive in class? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's have a look at it. Oh, I was right. Mm, yes, partially. <laughs> Thank you, Uncle Larry. You make such a great job. Okay, so you girls are done right now, right? Yeah. You need to excuse us so we can have some adult conversation. Yeah. It's okay, it's okay. I will make out time for you guys, okay? Now come pick it up so that we can have fun. Yay! <laughs> All right, chop, chop. All right. Okay. I must say that your girls are very amazing. You trained them properly. <laughs> Thank you so much. I've never seen them this comfortable with any total stranger. Point of correction. I'm not a stranger. I'm a family friend. Sorry, you. Family friend. <laughs> so now that you know everything about me, tell me more about yourself. Hmm. What else do you want to know about me? You already know me. I'm Mr. Fullerin. Of course, that's your name, Fullerin. Yeah. What else? Tell me more. Okay. I'm a widower. Oh, I'm so sorry. Was that's she? Fine. Was she ill? Yes. She died of cancer. So sorry. It's okay. I know she's in a better place. Yes, she is. I hope they didn't stress you out. Not at all. I don't understand anything oh. that teacher gives them. I'm oh. hungry. Oh, you are? Oh. Okay, in that case, excuse me. Let me quickly make dinner. I have to be going. Why don't you wait for dinner? Mm, maybe next time. Oh, Fulari, you're leaving. Yes, dear. Let me run along. I promise to come back to pick you up. Okay? okay. I'll take you guys out and make you have fun. Thanks so much for coming. You're welcome. Have a nice day. You too. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I like him too. Get into the kitchen with me. Let's make dinner. Naughty girl. He must really like you. Of course he does. And I like him too. And guess what? The girls also adore him. Wow. Hey, so tell me, has he officially asked you out? No. Why? I don't know. You know what? It's not all relationships that must start with a proposal. Mm. And this one is one of them. Yes. <laughs> you like him. <laughs> of course I like him. Girl, I've been praying for a man who would love me and also adore my children. And you're here asking me if I like him. Mm -hmm. Of course I like him. If I don't like him, do you think God will forgive me? <laughs> you know, I'm so happy for you. I'm super happy for you. Finally, God has answered your prayers. Mm -hmm. Yes, he has. <laughs> and what is good? What you like a people? Yes. <laughs> Come on in, come on in. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Kumbala. We have so much fun here. I'm glad you guys enjoyed yourselves, okay? You know what? This is the beginning of new things to come, beautiful things to come. 
I promise to take you to Disneyland someday. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right, girls. Excuse us. Okay. Wow. I really enjoyed myself too. Oh. For Larry. Thank you so much. These girls haven't had that much fun in a long time. It's my pleasure, Belladonna. <laughs> What's Belladonna? It means beautiful woman in Italian. <laughs> so, what's handsome man? Belluomo. Okay, thank you, Belluomo. What did he just say? I said, Belluomo. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. Love you too, baby. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God. What? Where is she? What? Are the results ready? Yes, they are. And? Upon examination, we found out that um, one of the kidneys is damaged. Oh my God. And the other one is also failing. She needs a kidney, hence the need for a kidney transplant. Kidney transplant? Yes. Where am I supposed to get that kind of money from? What kind of problem is this? The doctor. How soon can the operation be done? As soon as we find a kidney that is compatible with her blood group, we'll take her to a specialist hospital where the operation will be carried out. And how long is that going to take? It won't take long. Okay, okay. I, I will come to your office so that we can chat, okay? Okay, sure. All right, take Beverly. It's okay. I understand how you feel. But trust me, she'll be fine. Okay? I will make sure nothing happens to any of your kids. I will pay for whatever it takes to ensure she's fine again. She'll be fine. For now, is really a godsend to so you mean he wants to pay for the transplant? I'm not. I, I can't even believe it. <laughs> you see? You see that sometimes every disappointment is a blessing. If um, Raymond and Co. hadn't left, there wouldn't have been for Larry. You're right. And every day he gives me more reasons to love him. I've never loved any man like this since Stanley. Uh-huh. <laughs> so how is she? We're still looking for a compatible kidney. Everyone we found has a different blood group. Even my blood group isn't compatible with hers. Don't worry. Very soon, we'll get a compatible kidney and everything will be fine, okay? Amen. Amen. <sighs> Hi, Bev. Oh. How are you oh. doing? Thank you, and how is she? I'm still here, waiting for the doctor. Oh. Oh, doctor. Yeah. Any news? I'm sorry there's not been any good news. You see, um, we've not been able to find any compatible kidney for her. It's not easy finding a kidney with an O positive. O positive? Yes. I have O positive. Can I do it mine? Yes. Yeah, sure you can, but first we have to run some tests and be sure that both your kidneys are healthy. Then you can donate. So, what are the processes involved? Can we, can we just start? I'll make some preparations to run some tests. The nurses will call you when we're done, okay? Okay. It's, it's fine, Thank okay? You. For Larry. Darling. You're God sent. I don't know what I did to God to bless me with a man like you. I made you a promise. I promise to always be there for you. 
that exactly what I'm doing. Thank you. It's okay. Oh, we're fine. I'm grateful to God that this operation was successful. I don't know what I would have done if I had lost either of you. God forbid. You will never mourn again. Amen. Amen. Thank you for all that you've done for me. You are a gift. And I'm grateful to God for your arrival into my life. You have brought nothing but joy. I bless the day I met you. Thank you for allowing me to make you happy. I can see you all are having a family moment. But I came to inform both of you that you will soon be discharged. That's good, Doctor. Thank you for everything. It's okay. I was just doing my job. Thank you, Alison. I'm so sorry, my dear. It's okay. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Um, do you remember me? No, I don't. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh. Yes, of course I remember you. You're that policewoman. How have you been? I'm fine. I was actually promoted after that incident and I was transferred out of the state. You were? You deserve that promotion. Honestly, the way you and your team handled those criminals was very commendable. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry for your loss. It's okay. I'm just glad that you and your team were able to take down every single criminal. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yes. Yeah. Is she just bad? Oh, it is? Okay. Uh, she your daughter? Yes, I have two of them. I was wow. three weeks pregnant when the incident happened. Oh, she's so beautiful. At least you have something to remember him for. Thank you so much. We're going to run along now. All right, dear. Take okay. care of her. Let's and do take care of your mom. <laughs> wow. <laughs> There's a need in my heart, but my heart is strange since it's life is like a game. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. There's a need in my heart. Tell me about it. Hmm. She's finally back. <laughs> Sorry, let me get that. Mm. Come in. Oh. Wow. What a pleasant surprise. <laughs> How did you locate me? I actually came to see someone in your neighborhood when I saw your daughter. Oh, that's true. You met her at the hospital. Yeah. Oh, please take a seat. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. <laughs> oh. Honey, that's the um, lady I was... You? I'm confused. Have you two met each other? I thought they were all killed. Yes. Except for him who was sentenced to 10 years imprisonment, which was as good as dead. Tell me she's lying. Were you a part of the gang that robbed us and killed my husband? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, but I... Get out. Yes, yes. I said get out! Oh. Girls, how was the discussion? Yes. Hope you had fun. Tell Uncle 
want to live like that. I don't want to talk about it. You can tell us anything. Yes, please go to your room. Like a fairy tale, midnight tale. I've heard the stories, but now it's happening to me. Ah. I feel discouraged, I feel this pain, I feel this vacuum. I just want to be loved again oh. When the officer told me, I didn't believe her until he told me with his own mouth. Who would have thought that a nice and gentle man like Fulani was a thief? It's hard to believe that the same one who brought joy into my life was the same one who took it away in the first place. She clearly doesn't want to speak with you. Beverly, I'm only asking for a minute to enable me to explain. Get out this minute. Just leave, please. Oh, God help you. If you don't, I am not a thief. I am not. You have to leave, sir, please. How do you expect us to sleep when you are sad? I'm fine. We know that you're not fine. We know that you're angry at Uncle Fulani. What did he do? I don't want to talk about it. Mom, whatever Uncle Fulani did is forgivable. He's a nice person. Yeah. He put smiles on our faces and he was there when we needed help. Yeah, Mom. For the first time in our lives, we got to experience what it's like to have a father figure. Whatever I did, please just forgive him. I'm sorry, but you know I'm not the right person to talk to. Besides, Beverly won't be happy seeing us together. I know. But Beverly doesn't want to see me, let alone talk to me. I can't help you. I'm sorry. I just want to listen to me, okay? Listen to me. Perhaps after listening to me, you'll understand why I got involved in that unfortunate act. You help me better. Okay. I'm all ears. Wow. 
So, you mean you joined the robbery just to save your wife's life? Yes. I didn't know they were going to kill anyone. I was instructed to drive them to the location, that's all. But that doesn't justify that act. I, I'm not trying to justify what I did. Not at all. What I did was despicable, no doubt. And that was why all through my stay in jail, I kept on praying to God to console her. I wronged her, and I want her to forgive me. Okay, I will take you to her office, and I will also plead with her to listen to you. Thank you. Hear him out. Please do not react. I thought I told you Bradley, please. never to step your feet again. Every reason in the world to hate me. I know there's nothing I will tell you that will change your perception. But please, I have come to explain. I want you to know that what happened 15 years ago was entirely my fault. I erred greatly. I also want you to know that I am not a thief. Honestly, I decided to embark on that mission with them because I needed to raise money to take care of my wife who was dying of cancer. I didn't know they were going to kill anyone. I'm sorry. Find a place in your heart to forgive me. I have caused you so much pain. And all through my stay in jail, prayed and asked God to forgive me for putting you through all this and to console you. And when I set eyes on you again that fateful day and you didn't recognize me, I saw an opportunity to right my wrong. I fell in love with you and your amazing daughters. And when you told me about Sonia and Tonia, I saw an opportunity to come close to you and make you happy. I know you hate me. I know you detest me. I know you don't want to set eyes on me again. I can feel the hatred in you. But I have come to thank you for giving me the opportunity to put a smile on your face and the faces of your daughters. Forgive me, Beverly. That's all I'm asking for. Have a nice day. I cannot say that what you did didn't hurt me. hurt me greatly but I also can't say that your presence in my life these past few months hasn't brought joy to my life but seeing you here and seeing you every day would only bring back memories and pain that I deeply want to forget. We're human. We make mistakes. And I know we want to erase the past, but there 
seven things that come to be erased. I forgive you. But uh, we cannot continue with this relationship. I wish you the very best in life. Goodbye. I must say that your words are soothing to my soul. I feel redeemed. I feel happy once again. Thank you. I feel discouraged, I feel this pain, I feel this vacuum, I just want to be loved again.